Today, the U.S. Senate is poised to vote on its latest jobs bill that could hold new hope for millions of jobless Americans. The $15 billion plan gives a tax break to companies that hire workers from the ranks of the unemployed. But the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus complains it's a stripped-down bill that won't create jobs and does nothing to help thousands of people who are chronically unemployed. We are joined by the Congressional Black Caucus Chair, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, who just returned from a hearing aimed at finding new ways to create jobs. Congresswoman Lee, first of all, $15 billion seemed to be the best that they could get politically, so why not at least start there? That's fine as a starter. However, we have to be honest and we have to recognize that uh, business tax credits, while we support them and they're good, that's not what's going to create jobs for the millions of unemployed. When you look at the chronically unemployed, when you look at the unemployment rates in communities of color and in the chronically unemployed community, you're looking at staggering rates, some 17 to 25 percent. And so business tax credits, great, but we have to have direct job creation and we have to have an investment in workforce training and training, also in summer youth jobs. The summer's upon us. And our young people, unfortunately, have to help with household expenses. Uh, it's an emergency. And so we want to do something to create jobs and create jobs now. You had a uh, frank meeting last week with uh, President Obama, you and other members of the Congressional Black Caucus. Um, what did the president say when you expressed your uh, frustrations? The president understands that jobs uh, are at the top of everyone's minds, at the top of everyone's priorities here, here in Congress. And he understands that we have to do something about this economy and uh, turn it around. People are desperate. The president gets it. He's worked on many, many initiatives. And we're but working together with the president. did the president make any specific promises to you? Any specific promises? to you. The president indicated that he is supporting a complete comprehensive jobs package. He supports our summer youth jobs program. We're trying to get at least 1.3 billion for that. He supports workforce training, apprenticeship training, the expansion of community college training programs, and he supports also direct job creation, understanding that we have to build the votes in the House for a $70 billion expenditure uh, promoted by uh, Chairman George Miller uh, and myself, uh, Congressman Hare and Ellison, who are championing a direct jobs program. And so the president uh, is working very hard to try to turn this economy around and create jobs because people, as I said, are desperate. He gets it in the Congressional Black Caucus. Today we're kicking off our five-week jobs campaign. We have experts, economists to talk about the crime chronically unemployed. And let me just say, we released a report today, the Joint Economic Committee, chaired by a, a great legislator, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney. This report shows that uh, many in communities of color, especially the African American community, have been hit hardest by the recession. So we're, discuss well, Cong we're discussing this report today. Congresswoman um, uh, Barbara Lee, Democrat from California, chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. Congresswoman Lee, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. Good being with you. You're welcome.